Is it possible to get a tiger to feed a cat? Basically impossible. Although they are of the same feline family, it's still not very realistic. What if a lynx? Will it make a difference? Let's look at a story of kinship across species. Reg is a forest ranger. On this day he was patrolling the forest when he spotted a baby short-tailed lynx. The short-tailed lynx, also known as the short-tailed cat, is a type of lynx. They live in cold conditions. Their short tails help them to walk in bushy areas and also help them to climb in rocks and woods. The baby lynx looked very weak. It looked like it hadn't eaten for days. It couldn't even bark. Only its slightly heaving stomach showed that it was still alive. If the parents of the baby lynx were alive, they would not have left their cub in such a state. The probability of this happening was that its parents had been killed. Although the lynx is a large feline, it also has natural enemies. Looking at the baby lynx, one should be able to guess where its parents will end up. Reg couldn't bear to see this little guy freeze to death. So he took it home. But a new problem arose. How is he going to take care of this little one? The nature of the lynx dictates that the lynx will stay away from human society without the appropriate race experience. Reg could only leave the young lynx in the care of a domestic cat, which is also a feline. Although the baby lynx was still a cub, it was after all a large feline and had many differences from the normal domestic cat. The mother cat accepted it with wholly motherly affection. The baby lynx seemed to feel the sentiment of the mother cat and snuggled up in her arm. The mother cat was also very patient. She cleaned the baby lynx all over, then let it have her milk. But there are differences between the lynx and the domestic cat. The lynx will eventually return to nature. This is their nature. Human society is only a kind of cage to the lynx. But returning to the wild would mean losing the care of humans. Losing the life with ample food. Needing to fend for themselves. If the lynx had been brought up by its mother, this would have been a piece of cake. But this baby lynx's parents had died long ago. What could a domestic cat teach a lynx? In other words, what the mother cat could teach the baby lynx would be not enough to allow the baby lynx to survive after rejoining nature. The baby lynx needed to be better taught. After taking care of the baby lynx for a while, the mother cat had completely considered it as her own baby. When the baby lynx was weaned, like raising a kitten, the mother cat took it outside and trained it to catch the mice. The baby lynx was very clever. It learned very quickly, soon mastered what the mother cat taught. Although very reluctant, it was time for them to say goodbye. A domestic cat couldn't teach a lynx the real skill it needs to survive in the wild. Her role as a mother was only temporary. Although she tried her best to teach the baby lynx all her skills, that's not enough for the baby lynx. Reg took the baby lynx to the place where it could help it learn survival skills. The Wildlife Center. Here, an elaborate wildlife training program had been planned for the baby lynx, which was expected to be returned to the wild in spring. Perhaps because of the cat mother's care, the baby lynx had changed from its frail and skinny appearance before. It was in excellent health and spirits. It had completed its training program very well and had successfully returned to the wild. The day the baby lynx left, Reg didn't let the mother cat see it one last time. The baby lynx seemed a little upset, but was ruthlessly driven into the wild by Reg. Of course, this did not mean 
that people stop paying attention to baby lynx. The training at the animal center was simulated. The baby lynx still needed to experience real nature. The baby lynx did very well during the training simulation. And it continued to do very well when it returned to nature. It seemed to have returned to its own world. Running freely and soon disappearing from Reg's view. During subsequent observations of the baby lynx, it was seen that it was still very active and seemed to have an inexhaustible amount of energy. It was alive and well for several days, which meant that it had adapted to the wild environment. Zoom back. The mother cat, who had not seen her baby lynx for a long time, looked a bit depressed. She often disappeared from Reg's view during the day and returned at night, disoriented. Reg knew that the mother cat was out to look for the baby lynx. But Reg had no way of explaining this to her. He could only pray that she would forget about the lynx baby as the days go by. Things are always unexpected. Although the baby lynx could survive in the wild, it had not forgotten the care it received from its cat mother. Once, after returning from a forest patrol, Reg saw the baby lynx was lying on its back with the mother cat. The tender image immediately touched Reg's heart. All things have spirit. Animals will not easily forget the kindness of others to them. The baby lynx still lived in the wild, but from time to time, it would come back to play with the mother cat. The lynx and the cat would lick and smooth each other's fur. Sometimes the lynx would bring her some of the food it caught. With a smug look on its face as if it was showing off its trophies. Then, the mother cat got pregnant. And had five kittens at once. She was very busy. One man, two governors. How could one mother cat take care of five kittens at the same time? Something unexpected happened. The lynx started to help the mother cat to look after her young kittens. There were times when the mother cat would go out to play. The lynx would be at home to help the mother cat look after her five cubs. Reg saw such a scene once. Which made him felt interesting. The kittens were particularly active. Without their mother. They were always running around. Although the young kittens couldn't run fast, they could roll and crawl for some distance in a short time. The baby lynx looked a bit helpless with these kittens. It didn't have the authority of their mother. It could only catch up with the kittens when they run away one by one. And it had to be very careful when it did so. To find a definite angle and make sure it would not hurt the kitten. But this took a lot of time for the lynx. Often just as soon as it got one back into the den. The other one was out again. The lynx could only carry cubs back and forth. Only when the mother cat returned after playing. Would the kittens be deterred from running around. By the mother cat. Reg thought the lynx was looking at the mother cat with complaint and helplessness. The bond between the baby lynx and the mother cat is heartwarming. It makes us sigh with emotion. It turns out that there can be a strong bond between two creatures that cross species. Maybe that's the power of kinship. It's not about race, not about genes. This is the greatest and most powerful emotion in the world. An emotion which exists in all living things and which drives the harmony of nature. 